are you why are you desiring the gifts that you desire some of us really want to be an excellent speaker some of us want to be excellent singers some of us want to be excellent in money some of us want excellent in this excellence in this we want this gift that gift but God said have you ever de decided or determined why you don't have it why God you won't give me this God said I need to look at your heart first he says the thoughts of thy heart may be forgiven thee then Peter says then he operates in a gift the Bible says he said for I perceive or discern that thou art in the gall of what bitterness you want the gift but you still bitter you want the gift and you still wounded Some of us want the Holy Ghost wounded. Some of us want the power of God to be so mightily in our life. Oh, yes, y'all never. I, I, I wish I had somebody that's going to agree with this. Have you ever wanted the power of God so mightily in your life that you can curse who you want to curse? And I ain't talking about cussing them out. Cussing, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about God make one of their, make their ears fall off. God make one of their eyes go, go make, make their knee fall off God. God, God in the name of brute sickness. So, and I know y'all don't, I know y'all don't want to tell it. But when church folks make you mad, you want to operate in your gift. God in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that the universal joint in their car, the clutch go out. I pray the transmission fall right out. The, let their spare tire be on flat now. Y'all don't want to talk to me, but you ain't never got, got that mad at folks, and you went to God, God. I speak it in the name of Jesus. I know y'all, y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay then, I guess that's from Mississippi because I know how we did it in Mississippi. We, we was, we was slick, slick on the slick get into the spirit of witchcraft. Wishing bad on folks cause they stepped on your toes. Yes you did, you know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Because you rejoice when it happened. See I know what prayer do. See, I, no, no, no. Soon as some bad happens, see, you better learn how to live right. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. That's what we will say. Thinking that you had the power to bring this ailment on their lives. Peter told the man that I perceive that there are in the gall of bitterness and that you are in the bound or you are in, in, in prison of iniquity. There's some crookedness in you. You want a perfect gift, crooked. Iniquity is the crookedness and the, and the, and the tendencies for you to say if things were the way you wanted them to be and you wouldn't get caught, you'll do it. Am I talking to anybody up in here? Iniquity says, if nobody sees me, I do it. That's why it's quiet. Iniquity, iniquity says, give it some time. Just wait. Make sure you, you, you map down how things go. Iniquity is patient. I wish I had somebody. You ain't. I think I have a lot of stuff to talk about today because iniquity would make you wait for years on that one moment of lust yes iniquity does that you need to understand and then you'll use your gift to say well God brought us here together so that I can witness to you God really wanted me to tell you this. I, I, I've, been, I've been holding this for years. 
but I think God wants me to rebuke you right now. I'm talking about the person that God says you should be forgiving and letting it go, but iniquity tells you to hold that out. I've had this for 10 years. I prayed about it, and I feel the release of God allow me to tell you now. Man, I know I'm going over right at you. It ain't going over your head. Don't, don't. Quiet means good sometimes, right? Okay. I just, thank you. It's somebody in the back. Somebody. Okay. Check this out. Then it says, then answered Simon and said, pray ye to the Lord for me that none of these things which you have spoken come upon me. It's important that you understand Simon didn't have a relationship with God, but he wanted God's power. I need y'all to understand this. I said, well, God, what are you trying to unfold to me? He says, how do you know if, if who the gift came from when somebody is gifted? Because we have so many gifted people doing so many wonderful things in the world today, we don't know who's who. Uh-huh. I said, Lord, what are you trying to say? He said, you can take somebody in the world who can sing so good that they can sing a church song and make you cry. You can take, you can take an actor that has been acting and, 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 and they, 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 could, they could have been a pimp in this movie and being Paul in the next movie and you say boy that man know he got some he can act can he he sure got some anointing on him now 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 I want to share something with you and many people follow gifts we are a fan of gifts I know I'm taking my time but I said Lord I don't want to be deceived. So God said, it is true that people are gifted. But it's not the question whether or not you're gifted, but who gave you the gift. And whoever gave you the gift, there's a particular relationship and ownership that they have with you. And you take on who they are. Nobody's going to give you a real priceless gift if they don't know who you are. Uh-huh. There's no way I'm going to give you something that's real dear to me and I don't know you from John Doe down the street. There's no way. I said, well, Lord, how do we know where the gift came from? He said to me, he said, so I'm gifted, but who gave it to me? How do I really know who gave me the gift? Then the Lord responded to me with this. Your works will show who gifted you. Oh, y'all need to understand this. There's a scripture for that. Your works will show who gifted you? I said, prove it, Jesus. He said, I'm glad you told me to prove it because I like, I like proving stuff. Galatians 5, verse 16. Let's read. Y'all there yet? Galatians 5, 16. It says what? This I say then, walk in the what? And ye shall not what? The who? Of the what? For the flesh what? Lusteth against the what? And the spirit against the what? And these are what? Contrary one to the what? So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the what? Ye are not under what? Now. The Bible says, the what? Works of the what? Are what? 
which are what? What does it say? What? And what? Lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, drunkenness, revelings, and such what? The like of which I tell you what? Before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Put a pen right there. If you gifted and still acting crazy, who gave it you the gift? I need y'all to understand this. So if I can sing real get good and still a drunk, if I can preach real good but still commit an adultery, how? If I can pray till y'all fall out and have newspapers scattered all over the floor and still I'm a, I'm a weed head, I'm a cusser, I'm a fornicator, an adultery, how can that be from God? Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost in this. Touch a neighbor and say, you're gifted, but who gave it to you? Here's your response. It's based on what comes out of me in my life. Determines who gave me the gift I'm using. I, so even though you can hit every octave in the book. And still a liar. I know where your gift came from. Oh yes, it's an awesome gift. But I know who gave it to you now. Oh, y'all got to see. I know it gets, it's going to get real touchy-touchy, but I need y'all to be aware that everybody say, I want to th first thank God who gave me this gift. I would like to receive this reward, but first I want to give God thanks. It may not be the God you serving. Oh, God. Y'all better be, be aware. Y'all better be aware. That, that everybody that says I want to give God honor first you need to know which one because the God that I serve is a spirit and it's a holy spirit and, and, and if that's the holy spirit of God I won't be an adulterer if I got the gift of God I won't be a liar if I got the Holy Ghost I won't be going to the club and the church <laughs> oh yes I won't have to chant I'm not my, 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 and speak in tongues if I got the right gift I feel like preaching now. <laughs>
Ooh, yeah. I know y'all may not know nothing about that. But Pastor David, they call it a muscle shirt. But the muscle shirt can only show what really was. But with my little crazy self, and why Keith over there laughing, I had a black one, he had a red one. So here we are. I got to put us in there. We put on the muscle shirt, ain't worked out none. But all of a sudden, we swole. Had our jeans on, bow legged. Lord, won't you say? I thought I saw muscles because I had on a muscle shirt. What do you really see when you put on your gifts? Are you lying to yourself? Oh, you, really? You, 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 so, so you have the Louis Vuitton. You have, you have the red bottom shoes. So you have the tailor-made suit, but your light's still off at home. So you got dressed at your neighbor's house. You smell, oh, can I, can, one more, one more, one more thing. So you put on cologne, but you hadn't taken a bath. It's only so much what you put on go cover up who you really are. I just got to catch you at the right moment. Let a good wind blow and we'll know who you are. You didn't brush your teeth. We going to know after the gum has lost its power. We going to know what's really going on. in your mouth life and death <laughs> Woo. holy ghost holy ghost 